Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about one of my favorite tinted sunscreens for the face. And I'm gonna be comparing it with a, another tinted sunscreen. So both of the sunscreens that I'm talking about are from Suntegrity. Now this is going to be a comparison between the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen and their five-in-one tinted sunscreen. So this, the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen is one that I have used and loved for quite a while now, probably a year now at this point. Um, I love this sunscreen, it's so good. I have repurchased this a couple of times and it's it's just a favorite of mine. And the five-in-one tinted sunscreen is a newer one for me that I've been recently trying. So I wanted to kind of compare these two. I'm gonna demo them on the face so you can see what they look like, just see them side by side. So let's just get right into it. The Impeccable Skin Sunscreen is supposed to be one that has a little bit more coverage. I have actually compared this sunscreen to the It Cosmetics CC Cream before. I did a whole video about that. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a card up here or I'll link it in the description box below or you can just search it just search like sunscreen or it cosmetics cc cream and impeccable skin danny smith on youtube it should come up but anyway so this one is supposed to give more coverage and then the five in one tinted sunscreen is supposed to give a more sheer coverage so right now i actually already do have the impeccable skin sunscreen on my face so I'm just gonna try to get up nice and close. So I do already have that impeccable skin sunscreen on all over my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wipe off one side of my face so we can compare them. I'm just gonna remove what is on this side of the face. And as you can see, it covered up quite a bit because now you can see a lot more of my hyperpigmentation. So there you have the difference, like, wow. Just even that, you can tell that this impeccable skin sunscreen gives some good coverage, cause, wow, yeah. There's a lot of pigmentation showing now. So what I'm gonna do is, because I already have one layer of the impeccable skin on, I'm gonna end up applying two layers, cause I do wanna just apply both of them on camera and without just taking that side off, I guess as well. So I'll do the five in one tinted sunscreen on this side and of course impeccable skin sunscreen on this side. I'll do two layers of each. So two layers of this on camera and one layer of this on camera because I do already have one layer on. I mean, I could just remove both sides, but I guess I don't really feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna start off by going into the Suntegrity impeccable skin sunscreen again. I'm just gonna apply another layer here on this side. Just gonna dot it. Also, by the way, in the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen, I have this in the shade Buff, and then in the 5-in-1 Tinted Sunscreen, I have this in the shade Golden Light. So just for reference. So this side is Buff, and I do like to just rub it in with my fingers. And just like, look at the coverage that this gives. This is so good. Obviously, I mean, I did already have one layer on, but you could tell the difference side by side, the difference that it makes. Now, I do want to say, so also the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen, it says it is a mineral matte tinted coverage and the 5-in-1 sunscreen says that it is a sheer coverage BB cream dewy finish. Now, I will say that the Impeccable Skin, I do not think it's matte. I have combination to oily skin, but honestly, um, since winter, my skin has been quite dry, and even with that, I still feel like the Impeccable Skin does give a bit of a dewy finish, and you guys can see that. Like, it gives a bit of a glow. There's definitely a sheen going on there. So, now let's go ahead and apply the 5-in-1 Tinted Sunscreen. Again, this is in the shade Golden Light. And honestly, the first time that I used it, I felt like this gave really good coverage. Like... I felt like it gave a little more than sheer coverage, but let's just apply this. You guys can see that that is already covering it up. I 
just want to pause here real quick because I know this shade is looking a little bit funny on me right now. The shade is definitely a bit too dark for me. I know it's looking a little bit orangey and I definitely forgot to apply it to my eyelids. So it looks a little uneven and a little strange also just because I only applied it on half of my face. So yeah, just please ignore that. This is not the right shade for me right now but hopefully like once i get a little bit of a tan during the summer this shade will match me a little bit better but i just wanted to put that out there i know it looks a little bit funny so i definitely think it still gives some pretty good coverage i do think that this that the impeccable skin does give a bit more coverage but honestly like that the, sh the five in one sunscreen still gives some de decent coverage I do have some pretty dark marks here so that's why those are poking through and definitely these are poking through more now when I use this one versus when I had this one on, on like you saw when I started the video um so yeah the impeccable skin definitely does give a little bit more coverage and the five in one tinted sunscreen does give a more sheer coverage let's add on one more layer Definitely with that second layer, that builds up the coverage even more. And honestly, once you put that second layer, it, it, like you can almost barely tell the difference between the two sides. At least I feel like I can barely tell the difference between the two sides. Let me know what you think. Can you tell a difference? That gives some good coverage. And I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation to cover up. So if you don't have hyperpigmentation, then it'll probably provide even more coverage for you or just look like it's evening out the skin tone even more for you. Um, but even with my hyperpigmentation, I feel like it gives some decent coverage. This is the kind of coverage that I would go for on a daily basis. I don't always feel the need to just completely cover up all of those marks. That's just my skin. My skin is healing. So personally, I do really like both of these sunscreens. Now I do want to kind of compare them a little bit more so you can tell maybe which one you would go for. So the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen is made without oils and the 5-in-1 sunscreen does have oils. So if you prefer to steer away from oils, then definitely go for the Impeccable Skin Sunscreen. That is actually one of the main reasons that I originally tried this like a year ago when I decided to purchase it is because it is oil free and sometimes with acne prone skin oil can feel kind of clogging on the skin it kind of feels like it can clog the pores so that's why I wanted this one but if you don't mind having oils then you may like the five in one sunscreen and then of course you have the obvious like coverage differences though honestly I feel like I can barely even tell a difference you guys can see it side to side honestly I feel like the coverage is pretty similar and again I do have those two layers on each side and yeah so just look at the difference or is there even a difference can you tell because to me looking in my mirror looking in the viewfinder Honestly, I feel like the coverage looks very similar. I know I do have that one like active blemish there. So I feel like that spot is just kind of like showing more, but I don't think that's because of this. I think that's just a darker spot to cover up with one application. Like if you're just doing one layer, then this one I definitely think does have a little bit more coverage. The five in one, I do think it still gives a dewy finish. So even though this one's supposed to be matte, this one's supposed to be dewy, I honestly find that they're both pretty dewy. Like you can see my skin definitely has a glow. Like maybe this side is a little bit more dewy. So maybe it is true that the five in one is a little bit more dewy, but honestly this side, I still feel like it's still pretty dewy. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, but honestly, I think they both give a pretty dewy finish. This is not really matte like it says. I don't mind that. I like it. Maybe you wouldn't want to walk out like this if this is too dewy for you. Maybe you could, you would want to set it with a setting powder. They do actually have a powder, um, a powder sunscreen, which I really, really enjoy. I'll link in the description box below, but that one is really great. I do like to use that one on the go. It's really good, especially if like you forgot to put sunscreen on before you did your makeup or something, then you can always powder your face with that and it gives you a little bit of sunscreen protection. Obviously, you should still apply like a cream or a liquid sunscreen, but 
if you forget, that's a good one to have or just to use that as well as a liquid sunscreen. That's a really good one. More information about the five in one tinted sunscreen. It's a tinted sunscreen, which is supposed to be a beauty benefit BB cream that renews, hydrates, protects, primes, and covers the skin. It's supercharged with youth promoting antioxidants that help to scavenge surface free radicals. This cream also provides mineral broad broad spectrum SPF 30 protection. It has hyaluronic acid, astaxanthin, I definitely pr pronounced that extremely wrong, um, red algae and certified organic aloe vera, jojoba, sunflower, pomegranate, cucumber and green tea, which help to rejuvenate, moisturize and hydrate the skin while non-nano zinc oxide protects the skin from the damaging UVA and UVB rays as well as reduce the appearance, reduces the appearance of redness. It does say that their sunscreens are listed on the EWG website. If you haven't heard of that website, it rates products based on their ingredients and how clean they are. So this is on there and it is certified as being clean and safe. So the Impeccable Skin also has that SPF 30 protection. So they both have the same amount of protection. The five in one tinted sunscreen, they only have four shades available. So definitely not a broad range at all. Hopefully they will extend their shade range soon. For the impeccable skin sunscreen, they have six shades to choose from. About this one, it says beauty boosting skincare sunscreen and makeup all in one. This medium coverage formula gives skin a flawless, smooth, more youthful appearance formulated without oils or silicones. This vitamin and peptide rich technology visibly reduces the signs of aging while non-nano zinc oxide and melanin provide broad spectrum SPF 30 and blue light protection to help prevent any future damage. That is also another thing that I really like is that this does also have that blue light protection in it. I don't believe they didn't mention that about the five in one sunscreen. So, you know, blue light from our phones, computer screens, all that stuff that is blue light. So it is good to have that added protection in this one. The five in one sunscreen retails for $45 and the impeccable skin sunscreen retails for $55. So there is a $10 difference there. Which one do I I recommend. I like them both, but I think that the Impeccable Skin has got to still be my favorite. Obviously, I've had this one longer. I've been using it for longer, but I like this one because it doesn't have any oils. Oils are fine sometimes, but because I do have acne prone skin, I just appreciate that this doesn't have oils and especially for like makeup or sunscreen products, I do appreciate it when it doesn't have oils. This is still probably my favorite and it just does give a little bit more coverage and because I do have that hyperpigmentation, I do like to have a little bit of coverage, though honestly, this one still gives some nice coverage. If you don't feel like you want just a little bit more coverage, if you don't mind that it has oils, then maybe go for the five in one tinted sunscreen. But if you prefer not to have oils in it and you do want a little bit of added coverage, then I would say go for the impeccable skin sunscreen. So something I do want to also mention is that both of these actually do have caprylic slash capric triglyceride, which if you're not aware that is a derivative of coconut oil but before that freaks you out especially anyone who has acne prone skin i don't find that this one causes me to break out i haven't tested this one out as much to know if it will break me out or not but it's that same ingredient which is in here and i haven't had any issues with the impeccable skin sunscreen causing me to break out so i don't think that's a huge thing to worry about obviously everybody's skin is different so how your skin is going to react is you know it's probably going to be different than how my skin reacts but i haven't had any issues with that um but i did want to note that just in case that is an ingredient that you are cautious about or an ingredient that you like to avoid. So overall, I really do enjoy both of these sunscreens. The Impeccable Skin is a longtime favorite of mine. I very much do recommend it, but this one is a really nice choice as well. These are definitely the best mineral tinted sunscreens that I have tried. I honestly haven't tried a whole lot of tinted mineral sunscreens, but I really enjoy these. I definitely do recommend them. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, I'll have them both linked in the description box below. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to help. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys.